and and I really am a big believer in transparency. So yeah. I have was the first member of Congress to post all the uh, all of the uh, spending any spending requests that I submit to the Appropriations Committee has been posted on my internet website from day one. Both the request letter I receive and then the final. Uh, any amount of money that's set aside, for the example, for the Texas Medical Center or for flood control or whatever is posted on the internet. I was the first one, I'm pleased to say, that was up on Twitter and Facebook using the internet. The um, I know I was the first on Twitter. I was the first to use social media. Um, they don't really know. I was the first to broadcast live on Quick uh, using, the, uh, using a, a video camera uh, that broadcasts live instantly to the internet. Organize on Facebook on social media, but in particular Facebook. And, and the reason I go back to Facebook, I'm uh, convinced that Facebook has the uh, power and the flexibility and the, the tools using multiple media sources right. to allow us to organize on an epic scale never before seen, where imagine if 500,000, you know, 50,000, 100,000, 500,000, a million, two million, five million, 10 million Americans simultaneously of their own free will now we're going to have this mass meeting using Google Wave and Facebook and make this decision collectively that at, in six minutes, folks, seven minutes, let's all hit Nancy Pelosi's server with an email or a phone call or, or, or a fax, generate them. Right. We will literally move heaven, we'll move the earth under the feet of Congress. And I have absolutely no doubt that we have the ability using social media to take back control over the government because elected officials uh, who elected officials who are not representing their voters greatest fear is an informed electorate and when we can see and hear what they're doing and respond simultaneously right. using these magnificent tools over the internet um, we'll get control of the government back uh, the uh, you know people are intelligent and they want uh, multiple sources of information well, I, I use the internet exclusively for uh, I occasionally will read a printed newspaper but I I'll set up I've, I've set up a number of customized RSS feeds and uh, I, I get my uh, news from multiple sources in specific areas that I'm particularly tracking uh, using the internet and, uh, and customized web feeds. Uh, I've got an iGoogle page that I uh, have set up, uh, which is an extremely powerful tool. Uh, Google Voice is extraordinary. That's about to come out. I had a chance to see Google Wave is about to, uh, to hit and it's going to allow uh, real-time conversations using multiple uh, media. Uh, visual, uh, uh, voice, uh, text, uh, using multiple media formats, have a real-time uh, conversation among potentially, I don't know, thousands, hundreds of thousands, a million people at once. Pretty amazing on Google Maps. Uh, they've actually got the ability, you can see where you are. Uh, yeah, and if friends myself. have signed up, you can kind of keep track of where <laughs> your, your friends are. But of course, that means Google can keep track of you too. As long as we the people can see and hear what is being done with our money and how our laws are being made, the country's safe. It's only in the dead of night that they'll steal our freedom or our money and that's why the internet is so important.